I need a man that'll take care of me financially without asking for sex. Ah, splendid daddy as we call them in the biz. Honestly, I wouldn't mind one of those myself. What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh of course, back with another video from r slash choosing beggars. Now this is possibly the most absurd choosing beggars video I have ever made, but enough of me talking, let's just, let's just get right into it. Two stars. Nothing much for non-owners or handlers to do. No bikes or runners allowed. Ability to go visit other pets would be nice, especially for those in apartments or those who lost theirs due to age decades ago, etc. Perhaps think of a biped amusement, socialization, and pet therapy area instead of just outside toilet area. Wait, wait, let me get this straight. You gave the local dog park a two-star review because it's for dogs? A dog-centric park? A park specifically made for dogs and not things that are not dogs? The last time I went to McDonald's, I sure was disappointed in their lack of tacos, but you don't see me leaving bad reviews. Hey, is the Nintendo Switch bundle brand new $300 still for sale? Yeah, it's still for sale. Are you interested? Yes, but $300 is a little too much. I was thinking more like $100. Cash. Uh, no. It's brand new sealed. It comes with two games which are also sealed. You can buy a Switch with no games at the store for more than this price, not even including taxes. Well, all I have is 100, take it or leave it. Yeah, I already said no. It's brand new sealed. Okay, what if you remove the plastic from it and sell it to me for $100 since it won't be new anymore? That is a lot of question marks on an absolutely humongous brain moment from this guy here. Why not just lower the value so that my bid is reasonable? Why pay extra for a new car when I can just ask the dealership to drive it a while and then charge me less? I need an app coded. Hourly rate of 15 to $20. Less than 30 hours per week, one to three months, entry level. Look, I've got a fantastic app idea. I can't pay up front. I'm looking for someone to code for free and at the sale, you get 10% off the top. The app will be able to make sounds and I've interviewed about 20 people about my idea and they all want the app yesterday. There is a huge market for this app. That's right, here is my offer. You do all the work to make this app and I literally mean 100% of the work and then I give you 10% of the profits. That seems like a fair and reasonable offer. I've quoted him before, but like Casey Neistat said, the idea is the easy part. Everyone has ideas. They're highly, highly overvalued. I would agree that 90% of the profits is a bit overvalued in this case, wouldn't you? Are you tired of your teen lounging around on summer break? Are they always up your hind end for money? Well, look no further. Located on Oakdale Way, they're looking for a teen in Westside to come hang out with our munchkin who's 7, possibly 3 to 4 days a week from 6.40 to 3.10 as my schedule runs from 7 to 3. 20 to 30 dollars a day to sit and hang out with our kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a teenager is still going to cost you at least $10 an hour to babysit all day. That's $3.75 an hour. Daycare costs that because they have more than one kid to make up decent wage. Most teens I know babysit, like my sisters who are 16, charge at least $10 an hour. No, 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 no. Don't you guys get it? She's trying to help you. If anything, you should be paying her to get your teen out of the house for the day. She's doing you a favor. I hope that cleared up any potential confusion in this pesky situation. People who quit their jobs on the first day, what was your I'm out of here moment? I answered an ad for a babysitting job. I was already working on a casual basis, but it was sporadic, so I thought some hours of babysitting would be welcome extra cash. The couple were both in the military and proceeded to tell me that I would be staying in their spare room looking after their six month old child around the clock, as well as doing the housework. I would have one day off every two weeks. They said it is cash in hand so I could sign on to the dole or unemployment benefit to make up the rest of the money. I left on the spot. They wanted a live-in housemaid and nanny, not a babysitter, and they were not able to pay for one. Why they thought it was up to me to illegally collect unemployment benefits to subsidize them, I do not no, and unfortunately, this wasn't the only instance of terrible employers on that thread. If we look at the original subreddit uh, that this response comes from, we see a bunch of people with alarmingly similar experiences absolutely hating working for Forever 21. Common themes included clocking out and back in around midnight to avoid overtime, 
asking you to learn the store and train yourself while shopping on your own time, not on the clock, and no doubt the worst experience anyone shared. One user needed to go see her mother in the hospital, and the manager responded, she won't die in the next eight hours, you can deal with her in your own time. You know, just for the hell of it, I decided to check out a Forever 21 job listing just to see how they described their work environment. Not only do they want a, quote, entrepreneurial spirit from employees that certainly don't get entrepreneurial benefits, there is, I kid you not, a typo in the line requesting that candidates, us, have excellent written communication skills. At least they weren't asking for attention to detail. Are you lonely, both physically and figuratively? Have you always wanted to talk to other people who watch Reddit videos? Well, I don't know about the last one, but regardless of your rationale, come on down to the greatest Discord server east of the Mississippi. With highest quality voice and video chat, plus emotes of my staff members' pets, and a teeny tiny Baja Blast, what more could you want? You can join at the link in the description or discord.gg forward slash aesthetic boys, and if you don't join, your mom's a hoe. Red Redacted, hey fam! Y'all already know, every year for my birthday in June, I do a kick-ass photo shoot. This year, I want to make it a little different. We always expect to receive love and gifts on our birthdays, but this time, that's exactly what I want to give back. You guys have always loved and supported both at Red Redacted and I throughout my business journey, and now I'm paying it forward. I'd like to wear and promote Kenyan brands and businesses for my photo shoot. I'm calling it hashtag my maiden K birthday. This is a pro bono shoot for all the brands and people I will partner with, i.e. no charges. I only get to keep the items that I like or whatever you choose to bless me with for your collections. I've already got the concept, so all I need is the awesome team and brands to put it all together. Who I'm looking for. Photographer, makeup artist, personal stylist and shopper must be super thorough in sourcing everything we'd need. Shoes, FM boots, fedoras and hats, bespoke tailored outfits, lingerie and shapewear, unique over-the-top headwear, jewelry and accessories, hairstyling and elegant wigs, and a four to five star hotel, luxury residence, or suite. No, 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 don't you guys get it? She's trying to help you. Honestly, this influencer kind of had me in the first half, being grateful for everyone who helped them along the way, wanting to give back, yada, yada, yada. I just hadn't realized that their definition of giving back included getting quite so many things. Clearly, I'm just not caught up on the modern definitions of philanthropy. Preferred qualifications, master's degree, all for a minimum salary of $15.29 per hour. $15 an hour the master's? Sounds about right. I'm looking for an easy, low-pressure FT job. I'm a young professional in search of an easy job. I want to find a full-time position, not fast-paced and not commission-based. I have an eye for detail, and I like to take my time with everything I do. However, I can bust some stuff out pretty quick if I'm in the zone. I have many talents, and I'm physically fit, but I don't wish to find a very physical job. I have strong customer service and some sales experience, and I can be very personable when I choose to be. I can work as part of a team or individually, but I do prefer to be left alone. I have a lot of energy and I have a hard time sitting still. I like to think out problems and creative solutions to them. It's important to me that people I work for are good people with a conscience. Lastly, I need to make annually over $46,000. Imagine this dude applies to the $15 an hour master's degree preferred job. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? God help us all. Black couch in good shape, no holes or rips in material, it looks like a, a solid couch, but I'm a single mom, can you do it for $30? Please be considerate, think about who needs it more. Jesus is watching, how are your life choices this seller's fault or responsibility? Why does that last line sound so threatening? Jesus is watching, it's almost like telling a little kid that an old man on another continent watches them when they sleep. And look guys, I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert on religion because I'm not, but I'm just saying I feel like Jesus would have more important things to deal with than how much this particular used couch sells for. We went back to purple black scribbly steakhouse and probably won't be back. We went for my birthday and we're told that if you mention it's your birthday, they would take some money off the check. We completely forgot to ask and called them later. The lady said, I'd have to ask my manager, but we don't do that, essentially saying, I don't feel like asking. After we spent over a hundred dollars, it's a shame because we were planning on going back for Father's Day, but not anymore. Let me get this straight. You called the restaurant after you went there, ate and paid, and you're upset the person on the phone is unable to retroactively apply a discount that you aren't even sure exists? Sure, yeah, that makes total sense.
We're looking for a new logo. If you're a designer, send us one and we'll feature the chosen one. Of course you'll feature it. That's just saying that you want a logo. You guys send them in, we'll pick the one we like best, and then we will start using it. Which was our plan all along. Because we want a new logo. You don't get anything. One star. Okay, so first off, me and my family love to visit all different types of zoos. Elephants being my all-time favorite animal. When we took my daughter to see the elephants, I was mortified by the absolute lack of care and concern. This elephant had the largest erection I have ever seen. My daughter began asking me what that was, and she's only three. If the staff just took care of these poor animals and relieved them, then maybe my three-year-old wouldn't be asking about gigantic elephant erections. Gosh. If the zookeepers could just jerk off the elephants every now and then, then my daughter wouldn't be scarred for life. If someone could just come along and fuck this elephant in the zoo, we wouldn't be traumatizing our children. All I'm asking for is a human to get paid to pleasure the elephant. That's it. I just want something I can actually explain to my child. Is that too... <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Is that too much to ask for? Hello. I can post your artwork. I always ask artists to pay $7 for a publication. Is it possible for you? Can I do payment in DN? Um, uh, what's DN? <laughs> Got him.